dear students welcome to the classroom today we are going to continue the fourth lesson of introduction to computers standard fifth lesson number four introduction to windows our today's topic is using the mouse in windows dear students the mouse is a very important input device for an operating system like windows when you press a mouse button you can hear a click and therefore before we go any further Let's get acquainted with some terms which describe the actions of the mouse. Pointing. Placing the mouse pointer over an icon or a tool. Click. To press and release a mouse button. Left click. To click the left mouse button. Usually the term click means left click because the left mouse button is the most frequently used button. Right click. To click the right mouse button. Double click to quickly press a mouse button twice. Drag to hold down a mouse button, move the mouse without releasing the button and then release the mouse button. Dear students, when you move the mouse over the mouse pad, you will see a small arrow moving on the desktop. It indicates the position of the mouse on the desktop. And so this arrow is also known as mouse pointer or pointer. As you move the mouse over the mouse pad, the mouse pointer on the desktop also moves. Starting Windows Dear students, when you switch on the computer, Windows starts automatically. You will see the main screen of Windows. It is called desktop. The small pictures that you see on the desktop are called icons. Each icon represents a program in window. However, depending on how your computer is set up, the icons on the desktop might be different from those in the illustration. The bar at the bottom of the desktop is called taskbar. To the right of the taskbar, you can see the date and time. To the left of the taskbar, you can see the start button. If you click on the start button, you will see the start menu. The students, a menu is a list of tools or commands that help you to work in Windows programs. The taskbar. Dear students, the taskbar, as you know, is the long bar at the bottom of the screen. It has three main sections. Number one, the start button. Number two, the middle section. And number three, the notification area. The start button. Dear students, when you click on the start button, you will see the start menu. The middle section. It shows all the programs, folders and files you have opened. Dear students, whenever you open a program, folder or file, Windows shows its icon button on the taskbar. In this picture, five programs are opened and each has its own icon button on the taskbar. The icon button of the active windows, the windows in which you are working now, is highlighted. To open another window, click on its icon button on the taskbar. When you click on the minimize button on the title bar of a window, it disappears from the desktop and you can see its icon button on the taskbar. To see the window again, just click on its icon button on the taskbar. When you move your mouse pointer to a taskbar button, you can see a small version of that window. The notification area. It includes a clock and date. There are some icons also, for example, it shows the volume and battery level. When you place the mouse pointer over an icon, a screen tip will show you the name and status of that icon. For example, if you point to volume, it will show you the volume level of your computer. Or if you point to battery, it will show you the battery level of the computer. The start menu. The students, the start menu is used to start programs, open often use folders, search for files, folders and programs, adjust computer settings, get help with the windows, turn off the computer. When you click on start button on the taskbar, you will see the start menu. The start menu is divided into three parts. The left pan. It shows a short list of programs on your computer. However, depending on how your computer is set up, this pen may appear different in different computers. 
When you click on a program name, the program opens and the start menu closes. If a program is not in this list, click on all programs. You will see a submenu that displays a list of all the programs in your computer. The search box. It allows you to look for programs and files on your computer by typing in the name of that program or file. The right pen. It shows a list of files and folders which are commonly used. It also has the shutdown button to turn off your computer. So my dear students, in this video we have learned about using the mouse in Windows and starting Windows. So watch the video carefully.